Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic and our new topic is what is fair used list functionality which is given by SAP. What is the importance of this functionality? How we can use this particular functionality? And one of the most important functionality from the project perspective in projects we use this functionality a lot with the help of this. Many times we came on to the conclusion that we need to go for the changes of this object or not. So widely, widely used functionality in the project. So what is where used list? Firstly, I will show you in the system where this particular button or functionality is available then we will understand this particular functionality. Suppose if I will go to SC11 transaction code. So you can see in SC11, we have a button here or we have a function here where used list. Suppose I will go for the SC38 transaction code. You all know with the help of SC38, you are creating program. So we have a where use list button here also. Suppose I'm going for a function module. Suppose SC37 transaction code. So here also I have a functionality or I have a dedicated button for the where use list. Suppose I will go for a class, class builder through SC24 transaction code. So there also we have a button or functionality of where use list. Now, firstly, we will understand what is where used list. Firstly, the word itself is saying where we are using a particular object. Suppose I will go for simple example. You are creating a table through SC11 transaction code. After that, yes, definitely you will use this table into the program classes. So if you want to check that I am using this table in which particular program, in which particular class. So with the help of this functionality, we will check that I am using this particular table in which program, in which particular class, in which particular function module. Suppose simple example, I'm creating a domain. You all know after creating a domain, you will use that domain inside that data element. So if I want to check that I'm using this domain into which particular data elements, then I can simply, simply check with the help of where use list. Suppose simple example, you are creating function module. Whenever you will create the function module, yes, you will use that function module into program classes. So if you want to check where I am using this particular function module, in which program I am using this function module. So this where use list feature will help you to come on to the conclusion that these are the programs, these are the classes where you are using this particular function module. Suppose we are creating a class and I am creating the, and I am using the class in the program. So with the help of where use list, I can simply, simply check where I am using this particular class. Firstly, I will show you and then I will come on to the scenarios of the project that in projects, why, why you will go for this fair use list. Suppose, firstly, I will go for suppose table. This is the table which we created. Now, suppose if I want to check where I am using this particular table into this SAP system. So what I will do, I'll pass the name of the table and I will simply click on to this button where use list. Suppose I will click here. One pop-up will appear. If you see by default, four things are ticked. Program, classes, web 10 pro component, data definition. If you want to check in all these objects, you can simply, simply go for select all. 
or if you want to select some specific area that I want to check this table I'm using into which particular program only. This table I'm using into which particular class only. This, pro, this table I'm using at how many places. Then simply, simply you can select that particular thing. Suppose I want to check that this table I'm using in which programs. This pro table I'm using in how many number of programs. So I'll simply select programs and I will go for OK. Whenever I will continue, it will show me all the places where I am using this particular table. So these all are the programs where I am using this particular table. I can go to any program and check. Suppose if I am going for this program, ZABAP underscore AR underscore message class. If I will double click, if I will double click, you can see into this program, I am using this particular table ZORDH underscore 28. So this, this table, whatever the table I created, I am using into this particular program. Suppose I will go for simple example of suppose function module. Suppose I created this function module. This is the function module which I created and I used into the program. You can take the example of any function module. Suppose you create a function module and have you have used in the program and you want to check where I use this particular function module. Simply put the cursor, go for where use list. We have a option where use list. So it will give me the program where I am using. Again, these three are ticked. It is totally your wish. What are the various things you need to select? Suppose I will simply, simply go for programs. I will go for OK. So this particular function module I am using into this particular program. So suppose when the program will display, you can easily check in this program, I am using this particular function module. Suppose I will go for the program. This is the program which I developed. I use this program into another program also using the submit statement. So if I want to check where I am using this particular program, so I can simply, simply put the cursor and I will go for where use list. If I will click here, suppose I want to check I am using in which other programs. So I will go for OK. Now you can see into this program, I am using this program, whatever I showed you just a few minutes back, few seconds back. So this is the program which I am using into this particular program. So this is the way how you can go for where use list. Now one most, most important question and so many people ask in the last two to three months, suppose I will go for SC18 transaction code. You all know with the help of SC18, you can go for body definition. Now, so many people ask, I want to check where I implemented or where someone implemented this body. What is the class name in which class this particular body is implemented? So where you this will help you. Suppose you all know. Everybody is all about interface. So we have an interface. This is the interface. Just double click on the interface. When we implemented the body, it means we created the class. When we created the class, it means interface is in the class. So if I will check the where use list of the interface, so I can simply, simply check that this particular body is implemented for this particular body. We have used this particular class. I have written the logic into this particular class. Suppose if I will go for the where use list of the interface, this interface. Now I will simply go for classes because you all know while doing the implementation, we are using classes. So I will simply go for OK. I will go for where use list. Now you can see these are the various classes in which this particular body is implemented. You can simply double click and check the logic. So it is a widely, widely used feature in the projects. 
now i will come on to the most important points why why we should always check for where use list suppose i will go for simple example you created a function module you created this particular function module now when you created this function module you used in the program now your supervisor is saying you have not followed the proper naming convention just rename this particular function module whenever you will rename this function module this function module will be renamed but you are using this function module into a program also but that program will throw the runtime error because that function module you renamed it is the function module which you are using in the program that does not exist at all that's why we have the where use list sometimes it is extremely extremely important suppose i will go for simple example you are creating a data element suppose you created some data element i will go for this data element now you are changing the field label of the data element blindly now this data element we are using at 20 places so all those 20 places will simply simply impacted because of this simple change because you are using this data element at 20 places so at that time where use list will help you to decide that should i go for this particular change or not widely extremely extremely important feature and one of the most important use suppose in the projects generally we go for alv reports a lot suppose you want to check in the system that how many programs or reports i have in which i use this particular function module how many programs we develop which is using this particular function module so just go for this function module and go for this button where use list now people will say whenever i will go for where use list it will show me those sap program also in which sap is using this function module that yes it will show that also but you have a option for filtration also because ultimately you want to check your programs in which you use this particular function module so just click go for where use list and whenever suppose you want to check in the programs there is a search range click here and you all know whenever you created your own program the name starts with z so you can simply simply go for z star it means where use list this particular function module sap will check for this function module into those objects only which starts with z suppose if i will go for okay so it will only only show me those program where i am using this function module which starts with z because many times we use this where use list feature and in projects suppose i want to check how many programs i developed using this particular function module so just go for where use list so it has widely or so many scenarios in which you will use where use list so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we covered where use list firstly one of the most important functionality feature which is given by sap and you will use at a wider level in the projects so those who are working in projects they know how extremely this feature is then i showed you where is the where use list button available whenever you go for check it will show you the pop-up you can select the objects also in which objects you want to check you can go for select all or deselect also one of the most important use which i show you because like some people are asking i don't know where this particular body is implemented so just go for the where use list of the interface you will get the classes in the classes that interface is used then i told you the various scenarios 
Suppose someone asks you to rename this. Suppose someone asks you to change that data element label. Someone asks you to change that domain length. So just check at that point of time. If you go for these changes, how many places will impact because of that changes? That we can simply, simply check with the help of fair use list. Then I showed you also, if suppose you want to check this standard function module is using into how many custom programs or how many custom objects. So you can apply the search range also. An extremely important feature from the project, from the SAP perspective. So that's it in this video. Thank you.